So I posted a video several months ago on an 04 Dodge Ram with no parking lights and it seems to be a fairly common failure. This is the park light relay right here which is relay number 73 in the fuse panel and what happens is a, uh, a printed circuit trace inside this tipum fails due to corrosion and it usually fails right in this area but it's down inside the tipum and that requires disassembly of the tipum to fix it. These are come, getting harder and harder to find so I made a temporary repair where I wired in an auxiliary relay to control the ground on the park light relay because that's what's missing. The, the control module here is not controlling the ground because of the printed circuit failure. So somebody's asked, a couple of people have asked me because I didn't draw a diagram or show you how it was done clearly um, to do it again. So I don't have the vehicle here but I have a used tipum here. So I'm going to try and attempt to show you how to do this. This is the existing park lamp relay housing right here. Take the relay out and you're going to attach a wire to the pin that goes on pin 85 here. This is pin 85. So we're going to attach a wire, flip the relay upside down so that it looks like this. Flip it upside down and we're going to attach a light gauge wire like this. Just wrap it around that terminal and solder it with a soldering, wrap it around that terminal and solder it with a soldering iron. Then you can plug the relay back in with that attached wire on it. So I'm going to do that. So the other thing you're going to need is another relay. And so any four pin relay or five pin, as long as you don't use the middle pin, will work. So here's a, a replacement relay that we're going to use. You're going to need four male terminals like this to plug onto the relay and a couple short pieces of wire. Now I've used a, a light gauge piece of wire and you can use light gauge wire like 22, 24 gauge wire for this whole job, especially to go on attach underneath this relay. So what we're going to do is we're going to steal power off of this pin because this pin becomes live when we turn the key on and that pin is going to turn on an extra relay which is going to supply the ground to this relay. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to make up a wire that looks like this with a loop, a short wire that looks like this, and one that looks like that. So here's, here's the electrical diagram. So power from pin 71 of this spare relay, because there's no relay in there, you'll test it with a test light. That should be live with the key on. So that will go to pin 85 of the replacement relay. So here is Here's how we're going to do this. So looking at the bottom of this relay, this is pin 85. So put that on there like so. Pin 86 needs to go to ground. So I've made a jumper wire that goes to ground. And I've got an eyelet terminal that's going to go out to the fender to find ground. Now, let's set this down for a second here. So this ground is going to be attached to the fender, which is connected to pin 86. There's the diagram there. And it's looped over and also connected to pin 87. Pin 85 is going to go to this terminal on the spare relay that's not there. And pin 30 is going to connect to the control pin 85 on the other relay. So I'll set it up now. So there you have it. So this pin 80, 86 on here is live with the key on. That turns on the control side of the relay which is grounded all the time and that takes the ground from pin 87 and supplies it to pin 30 which grounds the park light relay and turns the park lights on. So the end effect is the park lights will come on anytime you turn the key on. This is an automatic way of having the park lights come on and it's the easiest way that I could figure up and I'm sure there's other ways but for instance, what you could do is just take this one control wire and run it into the cab of the vehicle and put it on a toggle switch and manually turn the park lights on with a toggle switch. That would work as well, but that means running wires into the cab and mounting a switch on the dash. This only thing you have to do is tuck this in and attach this to a fender ground and you're done. So again, here is another look at the schematic. Okay. 
So the key is to solder that wire, a light gauge wire, to the pin 85 of the park light relay and then plug it back in. Because what's happening is the front control module here, this guy here, is not able to supply a ground due to a printed circuit trace failure. And that goes to pin 30. Pin 87 and 86 are actually connected to ground. Pin 85 goes to this terminal here. And that is supplied power by the key. I wouldn't worry about fusing anything. I'm sure that this circuit is fuse protected internally in the, in the tip of And really what's going to go wrong with this circuit underneath this plastic cover. So try not to blow anything up. Hope this helps somebody.